In this in-depth walkthrough video today, you're going to learn without any coding how to program AI to adapt to your unique brand voice, how to turn YouTube videos into social media posts on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn that are actually worth posting, how to create custom graphics with AI that complement your social media posts, and how to create SOPs so that others can use this. Now you're also gonna get access to the AI prompts that I'm using in this video that you can steal for your marketing efforts. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a very simple but powerful tip that you can use to create some of the best content that you've ever created on social media that actually gets shared, actually gets engagement, and works well for you. If you have high ticket items that you sell, or if you just really are looking to connect with your audience, but you don't have the time to do it, all by yourself i'm going to show you how we are doing it for our clients now the ultimate goal here is so that we can create content with a very unique brand voice that is required to manage this client's social media now the immediate goal for us is to save time be able to train our staff to handle this correctly and train ai to handle the task so the first thing that we did was we had an initial strategy call with our client to understand what she wanted and more importantly what she did not want to say now after the initial strategy call we created the first set of content um, using a tool called GLASP and just some of the feedback that she'd given us from the call. Now, if you're not familiar with the tool GLASP, then go ahead and check out this video here and you'll get caught up to date. Now, we're going to get into this more, but originally all we did was we went to GLASP and typed in, give us 10 social media posts that we can post on Facebook. Now, we also put in the notes from the strategy call, which is how we were able to come up with the 10 initial batch, but these are far from perfect. So we just kind of use these for her to give us feedback. Now, as we sent her the first batch of the revisions, we asked for a Loom video in return so that she can just walk us through her mindset on each post. And then also she annotated the document on Google Docs. She just one lined everything and just tell us what she preferred to have said. And that is our initial first raw piece of data that we need to take apart and put it into the AI. Step one is we need to get the transcript from the video that the client sent us. Now, there's actually two ways to do this and we will be using CapCut so that we can create this transcript. First, I'm going to upload the video into CapCut and then I'm going to select the text option and select the auto captions. And I'm just going to export these captions immediately after they're done. So click on export and then click on SRT file. I'm going to remove the video so that way it doesn't export an actual video. And this will create a text file for me that I can just use in ChatGPT. The second way to do this, which could be even faster, is just upload the video into CapCut and then right click on the video without putting it into the timeline and click on transcript. Moving on to step two. So now I'm going to copy and paste the transcript of her revisions that she sent to us and I'm going to put them into ChatGPT. Now I'm going to try and build a prompt for it to give back to us so I can reuse this specifically for this client and I can share this for my team members. Now here's the prompt that I'm going to give it. This is one of our clients and they want to have a specific brand voice that I absolutely need you to remember only on this thread. The goal of this is for you to give me a really strong prompt to give back to you in the future so that when I need to use AI like glass with this prompt, you'll give me the exact result I'm looking for. I'm going to give you a ton of information here soon so that you can understand everything that we have discussed. So use this upcoming information to train yourself on how this client wants us to create her social media content. You're about to receive a transcript of her video that she sent us while reviewing a document but first here's the actual document that she had as a rough draft please take note of her one lines and these are her revisions if there's something one line then that's a learning experience i'll also put that the corrected line will oftentimes be placed by leah in the middle of the sentence so please use your best judgment to identify which one is the correction and which one needs to be deleted or used as an example of what not to do now i wasted a lot of time here trying to copy and paste the document the issue that i was having was by just doing a copy and paste the actual one lining revisions that the client did were not showing up as one line when i pasted it and it just looked like a bunch of jarbled words so then i tried to put two stars on the outside of her revisions but then i realized i could just download this document as a pdf and then upload it to chat gpt and it could scan the document without me having to do the extra work 
So now that I uploaded the transcript and I uploaded the document into ChatGPT, I'm going to add this to the prompt. Now that you have all of this information, I'd like for you to give me the prompt so that an AI like yourself can follow this brand voice to be able to replicate any content as if it was coming from her mouth and also to avoid rework for her. Be very specific and use rules in this prompt like avoid using the word crucial or anything that would create false level of urgency. Just so you know, this client does not like to sound pushy or sound like she's spin selling aka creating a demand and then selling them on that new demand she wants to sound neutral and simple not too salesy and just as a method to support individuals when in need of their service do your best to create a prompt with all of this information now i did forget something so i threw this in there but i'm not going to bore you with the details so you can read this if you want now we have just created the prompt for the brand voice so save this prompt somewhere as your brand voice Google Docs works best for me. I always save all of my prompts in one document so I can easily bounce back and forth and not recreate any work for myself. Now, you can hand this to anyone you hire or anyone on your team so they can understand how to operate with the same tonality as you, but this does not tell them how to structure social media posts. So let's teach the AI now how to create social media posts with this. Now we can put this brand voice prompt we made into GLASP. We talked about GLASP earlier, but since we're getting more into it, here's what GLASP does. It's an AI extension that captures the transcription of a YouTube video or other videos and links a pre-programmed prompt directly to Jets. Now, if you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend you do watch it here to learn more about this AI tool and all of its features. So once you have this extension installed, we're going to open up a video of the client that we want to use. Click on the setting icon and this page should pop up. While making this video, I selected ChatGPT4 because there was a problem with Claude at the time. We had to make this switch for a few weeks and then GPT started giving us incorrect information as well. But I really do want to state Claude is your best option and it's made for longer forms of information and transcriptions can be really, really long. On this note, make sure that you click on the entire content right here and not equally sized chunks. If you click on equally sized chunks, it will just cherry pick lines from the transcript. Now we need all the information because I don't want to miss anything that the client has said in her videos. So in this box, we're going to enter what we want to happen when activated. Create 10 Facebook posts from the context in this video, following the rules and guidelines in this prompt. I need some copy to inform the audience and or a call to action that gets people to follow our page or interact with this post. Now, this company helps educating veterans on how their service can be linked or connected to disability or illnesses by providing only medical and scientific information. Please make sure that the posts are informing, engaging, and professional. Please include emojis as well where needed. So the reason I'm asking for 10 is because not all of them will be perfect and I don't wanna go back and forth with the extension creating hundreds of threads on GPT. And I'm only looking to use the best of the best. So. Now it's time to copy and paste the brand voice prompt we created in the first step. Once you close it out, it will update, so there's no save button you need to click. Now refresh the YouTube video we want to use and click on the summarize video button. One thing you want to double check is that the entire transcript of the video was actually used. If not, you need to figure out why. I would immediately double check the settings I mentioned and maybe the AI you selected like ChatGPT versus Claude and I would expect that's the reason you're having issues. So now I'm going to show you how I troubleshoot this so you see how I make adjustments based on my quick review of the content. For me, these posts were way too short and I wanted actual information that was worth sharing. It's really easy for AI to just come up with something that might kind of sound good, but it really doesn't. Now, these videos of the clients get thousands of views and it's purely because of great information. It's not highly edited, no retention tactics, just a good person giving out absolutely great advice. So I went back to the prompt and I added the first line and make them worth reading with a hooking intro line. Also check mark, also add check mark emojis wherever possible in a listing format to make it easier to read. Please make sure that the post is decently long and informative and professional. Keep in mind, there's no such thing as too long or too short, only too boring, which by the way, guys, I absolutely stole this from Alex Ramosi, and I think it's just a brilliant way to keep in mind how to create content on social media. So don't ramble, but make it an awesome read. And I also titled in the section below rules and guidelines. Now let's retry this and see how the results come out. Okay, so now this is so much better. As you can see, it just looks better aesthetically right away. It looks good, length is better. It starts with a hook, 
Now, we certainly need to proofread and tweak up these posts, but as we tweak and as we get more feedback from the client, we can keep training the AI and our staff. So that was pretty cool, but now let's see how we can create some really good graphics using the AI on this thread. Uh, I like, I'll say thank you for this. Now give me a picture in cartoon format for post number one. Uh, do gradient lighting, <laughs> cinematic lighting, and keep it humorous. Please spell humorous. I don't know if I spell humorous. There we go, keep it humorous, but keeps people, uh, but makes people feel something when they see it. Boom, and it'll draw a picture. There we go. <laughs> Look at that, that's cool. And this is how you can create more uh, stuff. Obviously, it's just an example, but you can do all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, the gradient lighting is, is what you see in the background, how it changes from this, this tone to this light tone. And then you can just hit this button here, regenerate, if you don't like this, and it'll create a separate one. And then, bam, we've got uh, something right here. So, um, <laughs> I think this is cool. This is great, actually. If you're looking for someone to do this for your business, your social medias, there's a link to our website in the description. You scroll all the way down to the contact card, reach out to us there, and we will get in touch with you to create a custom offer for your business. Okay, so I mentioned that there's something you can do to create even better content just using everything that we've learned here so this is something that we recently did with one of our clients and it made all the difference we took one of these posts and used it as a foundation we changed the hook it gave us and tweaked up a couple words but then we took all that information and we put it on a piece of paper just a paper from a notebook and this really made it look much more authentic and it really stops people because it's so much more different than your typical scrolling on social media if you enjoyed this video subscribe and maybe check out this video next